Greetings to everybody. Welcome to another edition of User Delight with Microsoft Technology. My name is Sanjeev Venkatram, and in this episode, we'll be talking about capturing digital signatures. I mean, it could be signatures directly on an app, as you can see right here, or uploaded from your computer um, to do approvals within Power Apps, right? Comes in really handy. And then from there, you could uh, approve the uh, information, uh, capture it in either SharePoint or Dataverse or what have you, and then finally generate a PDF file to be forwarded on to um, different people to complete processes, okay? So this literally is my phone here, as you can see. And what I could do is I could go in and actually sign and then if I were to untick this here, I could actually upload here by clicking on uh, the, the, the control here, okay? So let's see how we actually do this um, in real time, all right? With this, I'm gonna stop here and I'm gonna head over to my Power Apps. All right, so I'm gonna minimize the phone here as well. So what you see here essentially is and if I were to play this uh, full screen, what you see here basically is exactly the same thing as we went through before. I'm gonna actually get my uh, stylus out in a second. And there you go. And I could actually sign on this like so, or I could basically unclick this and upload an image from my PC, right? I could go down and find my signature here there you go like so and i could capture you see there's an image down here um, that changes depending on whether it's an uploaded picture or upon clicking this and signing here um, you know this signature gets replicated in the image and then i approve this form and so on and so forth so, so let's see actually how to do this real time right so basically what I have here is a form, right? I've got my form here, and this is linked to a SharePoint list. As an example, if I were to go over to my SharePoint list here, so we've got you know, the name of the device, uh, in this case, a PC, uh, the photos, the price, and I've captured a signature here as well, and so on and so forth. So if I were to head back over to my form, and the form is connected to the data source and it's got the uh, title data card in which I've got the device name, um, the photo, the price, and then comes, here comes the signature, right? So, and this signature data card is essentially an image field, right? So I am going to, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from scratch. So I'm gonna literally go delete this control here and I'm actually going to delete the pen input control as well. So when you, and, and the checkbox here as well, right? I'm gonna actually delete everything here, um, you know, the checkbox. And the only thing I have left here is, and this icon too, as a matter of fact. So the only thing left here in the signature is as it actually comes in when you attach the form. Right when you attach, when you bring in a form and attach it. In fact, actually, let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to basically go ahead and delete this entire form here, right? So there's absolutely nothing here. So I'm going to go insert a, a form, an edit form here, right? Like so. And I'm going to go up, bring it down like so, make it full screen, about full screen right there. And I'm going to add the data source. Right, I'm gonna add the data source, and that comes in. Takes about a, a few seconds. And now as it comes in, and if I were to open up this form here, well, I'm gonna actually like connect it to, connect, you know, bring in some items here as well. So I'm gonna basically go to the items property. Um, I have a data table here in uh, the screen too that is connected to the data source. So I'm going to actually connect the items here to whatever is selected in the data table. So I'm going to just say uh, data table one dot selected. So you can actually see the entries come in, right? So you can see the entries come in. 
Now, if I were to open up this form here and I go to the signature, I'm going to unlock this first of all. And then if I unlock this, you will see that it's got four basic things. Star visible, um, you know, saying it's a required field or not. Something along the lines of an error message if, you know, uh, people don't actually enter data properly. Then there is this add picture control and then there is an image control down here, right? So what I'm going to do basically is to remove the Zad picture control for now. I'm going to take it away. And then uh, obviously, you know, the signature control kind of like falls apart. So I need to basically go ahead and in the image say that I don't want anything. I'm going to point to it later. And it's probably also going to complain about the position and so on and so forth. So because I just deleted the add picture control. And so uh, the image here is driven off of that, the location and uh, the size, I suppose, is actually driven off of it. That's the reason why it's actually complaining. So I'm just gonna get rid of all this. Okay, like so, great. And my signature here, I'm gonna actually make this bigger. Um, there you go, a lot bigger, maybe something thereabouts, right? And then I'm gonna get this image control here, go down and make it about uh, 300 pixels wide, maybe about uh, 45, uh, and then bring this down here. I'm gonna locate the image down here. And yeah, like so. Okay, maybe give it a, a color so that we can differentiate. So once we have this image here, once we have the image, uh, let's go ahead and add a, um, add a pen input. So I'm gonna say pen input here, right? And I'm gonna bring this down here like so, right? Bring the pen input down and make it a little smaller, right? Make it a little smaller. Um, the same width as the controls above, I suppose, right? So I've got my pen input here, um, and, you know, I've got a border to it. If you want, you can add a different color. I'm just going to make it like a golden color for it to be obvious, right? So this is where I can actually uh, get my pen input. And then in addition to this, I'm going to actually add a uh, media control where I'll be able to upload something. So if I were to go to add picture here, there you go, that brings in the media control and I'm gonna actually locate it uh, right on top of the pen input. So the idea is if I want to upload it, uh, you know, I should see this. If I want to, you know, sign, then I should be able to uh, swap and go to the signature uh, control, okay? So in order for me to do the swap in, I'm going to basically go add a checkbox here. So I'm gonna say checkbox, and this goes away and gives me the checkbox. I'm gonna basically make it a little smaller here. If I go down, I'm gonna make the checkbox size 50, like so. Uh, make the height of it as well, uh, 60 maybe and I'm gonna move it to the side like so. I'm gonna move this to the side like that. And the idea here is, the idea here is that if I were to, and I'm gonna basically, um, the text here, we'll worry about it later, but the idea here is that if I were to check this, I should be able to see the pen input, and if I uncheck it, I should be able to add a picture, right? So let us go to the property here that says, uh, that says uh, on check, right? So we go to the on check property, and I'm gonna do th two things. I'm gonna actually say set um, check value, uh, right? Check uh, value or check text maybe, right? I'm gonna add a variable called check text, uh, ch uh, test, uh, text, excuse me, and I'm gonna say um, get, uh, uh, I'm gonna say uh, digital, sign digitally, right? Sign 
digitally, right? I'm going to do that, right? And this is upon clicking it. So on check, and I'm going to basically say um, set uh, check uh, status value to be zero, right? Check status value to be zero. That's what I want to do, right? Um, and I'm going to copy this over like so. And then I'm going to actually go over to on uncheck. And I'm going to remove the false there, repaste. And I'm going to say uh, upload, upload, upload signature, signature, right? And then I'm going to make this check status value 1, right? Um, okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the text property, um, the text property of the, where is this? I'm going to go to the text property of this uh, checkbox, and I'm going to basically say check, uh, check, state, check test, right? So the idea here is that if I were to play this now, or if I were to select my Alt button and click this, it should basically say sign digitally. If I unclick it, it says upload signature, right? So that part is done. I'm gonna actually, I don't like the border around it, so I'm gonna basically go to the focus border thickness and make it zero so it doesn't uh, show the border when I do this. This is what I mean. So when I click it here, it is clean. It doesn't show the border around the box, which sometimes can be unsightly, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the pen input property and I'm going to basically say, I'm going to basically go to the visible property, the visible property here, and then I'm going to basically say check status value equal to zero, right? If it is zero, then show me the pen and put. And I'm going to go over to the add media with image here, the control and go to the visible property and I'm going to basically say it is true if check status value is one, right? So now let us try this. If I were to play this, if I say sign digitally, I get the digital signature. If I were to want to upload it, I get the, um, the box where I could click and upload this, right? So the idea here is that once, once we get the signature, we want the signature to actually show here in this blue box, right? We want it to show here in this uh, image here, right? So the image should basically, if it is, if the check status value is, is one, right? So we could use maybe a switch statement to kind of say if it is zero, then show me the image from the pen input. And if it's one, show me the image that has been uploaded, right? So if I were to click on the Zad media with image control, you will actually see that there is a image control that captures the input. It's called uploaded image, and that's what we're going to use, okay? So I'm going to go to this image, and I'm going to go to the image property. And here I'm going to make this formula bar bigger, and I'm going to say switch, switch, switch. And I'm going to say check status value, and I'm going to say that is my switch value, the, the, the check status value. And I'm going to basically say, if it is zero, then give me the uh, pen input. Pen input one dot uh, image, right? And if it is one, then give me the uploaded, uploaded image dot uh, image right uploaded image dot image and i'm going to actually close this so if i were to play this now if i were to play this now and click on let us say sign digitally i can literally go over and sign this and you will actually see that my signature is replicated down here in the image control now i could clear this i mean if i want to i could go ahead and you know how do you say change the color of my signature? 
so on and so forth. I could do uh, multiple things here, like so see it turn blue. So there are a few options here. And in some cases, we don't want to sign digitally. We want to upload an image. So I can basically go tap, add my signature. I think I have my signature somewhere down here, like so. And then lo and behold, it actually replicates my signature. I've uploaded my signature here. So whatever you want to do, I mean, there are you know, choices that we give people. And once we have captured this, if we were to click approve, you know, it's like submitting the form and the data goes sits up here in SharePoint, okay? Uh, comes in mighty handy in many scenarios, okay? So uh, just wanted to call this out. I trust you uh, find this useful. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, kindly do so. This here is my QR code for you to subscribe. Uh, my name again is Sanjeev Venkatram and you can reach me at uh, sanjeev at prudentia-consulting.com. I believe I actually have this uh, on my app here, sanjeev at prudentia-consulting.com. My phone number, I'm in Singapore, so my phone number is plus six five nine zero one seven five triple four, and uh, I trust you find this useful. Thank you very much.